welcome to the Social University Podcast. We are so glad you're joining us today because we want to help business owners, entrepreneurs, and people just like you who want to build their business online. Listen, if we can do it, you can do it. So let's go. Good morning. I'm Karen Dorados with Social U. It is time for What's Up Wednesday. We come to you live every Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. to talk about social media tips, tricks, and trends. And July is kind of an interesting month because people are out for the summer and not everybody's super focused on work. Today, we're going to talk about the power of the niche. And next week, we're going to talk about branding do's and don'ts. So, and last week we talked about threads. And if you are wondering if threads are a good option for your business, I would tell you go back and watch the video from from last week. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I kind of have, I don't want to say hot take, but I don't know that it's normal take, but okay. Niche, everybody, every small business owner constantly hears niches. Uh, lead to riches. Everybody is told to niche down. Everybody is told to focus their services so that they can niche. I think people are confusing niche with specialize. Um, A niche is all about who you serve. And when you specialize, it's about what you offer to the people that you serve. So what I think is happening is people are getting um, niche confused with identifying your target market. So Who will buy what you have to sell should not be considered the niche, but your target market. Um, For example, if, you know, selling women's clothing is not the niche, but selling shoes exclusively to older women who work in retail and have to look professional and be comfortable, that's a niche. Um, Or being a social media expert would be your target. Niche would be someone who only focuses on Pinterest. So there's, there's a difference there. And I think the way you define your target, the better you define your target, it makes it easier for you to create offers and then generate product. But it also depends on where you really are in your business. The newer you are to your business, the more difficult it's going to be to niche down. Why is that? Well, you don't know what you're good at yet. And it happens all the time. It happened to me. What you think you're going to offer may not be what your client wants at all, which is exactly why when you're creating courses and products, you need to sell it first and then create it. I cannot tell you how many, and I've done it. I'm guilty of it. How many times I've created something that people, I, I think is very important. And then when you get done, people don't want to buy it. Happens all the time. And it happens to a lot of business owners. So If you're just starting out, it takes time to establish. You have to have some time under your belt before you can really niche down. Um, If you've been in business for a while, I would tell you to go back and check your previous clients and look for similarity. I also think it's very important for you to acknowledge what you're best at and what you enjoy doing, which may not be the same thing. You may be selling a service, um, and I've done this before, that you hate, that you don't love, but you think that's what people want, so that's what you offer Listen to your audience, let them tell you (laughs) what they want to hear and what they want to know. Um, Especially if you've been in business for a while, you can go back and look at your clients and pull those similarities. Are they 80% female? Are they 80% in their 20s? Do they have a second home? Do they have a college education? Those similarities will start to reoccur and that will help you identify your best target. And there are pros and cons. Uh, Well, as your market grows, you can segment your audience and create services or products that suit each one. So for us, using us as an example, um, versus niching, which would mean you're only able to serve one segment. So if you think about it as a, a giant target and each layer is a different market or a different audience, niching down means you can only aim at one. But it's your whole target market may be the entire target itself. Like we work with small businesses to um, improve their social media. Now, if we only wanted to work with solopreneurs, female solopreneurs, that limits our ability to hit the target. Um, And that would be niche versus target market. And there are pros and cons to focusing on a single audience. Um, Really and truly, it Some of the benefits are being able to focus all of your resources. That includes time and money for you to develop new product, for you to develop new ideas. It allows you to refine your message and refine your offers to fit the message. It allows you to stand out as the expert, because if you're the person who specializes in Pinterest, 
Why would anybody go anywhere else for Pinterest when you're the one? Um, it allows you to create a community of fans who promote you. You are much more likely to get those rabid fans when you do one thing, when you niche down. Um, and you can get more creative with your branding. Uh, a lot of folks who niche, you're going to find them, they're going to be quirkier. They're going to be um, have just much more interesting branding and marketing tactics. Um, I can't think of a small business as a good example, but the more you niche down, the quirkier you can be. And the cons really to focusing on a single niche, it makes it difficult to maintain as you grow. The more you grow, it's going to get harder and harder to maintain that niche. And you're going to get more people who say, I know you do this, but can you help me with this? And that's a decision you have to make. It's okay to say no. It's okay to tell people that's not my specialty. Do not confuse niching down with identifying your target market. You have to identify the target in order to hit it at all. But truly, truly, don't, don't let it... <laughs> You have to make the decision on the target. That's a you idea. And you don't have to niche down and only serve one audience. It is possible to serve more than one audience. It is possible to serve more than one target and still do a good job and still be a specialist in your field. I would love to know your feedback. I would like to know more about what you guys think, if you agree or disagree. But I guess the overall message is um, don't confuse one for the other. It's okay to do both, but niching down is not required for success, essentially, um, which again, may be kind of a hot take, but that's my opinion. You guys, thanks for joining me this morning. I will be back next week so we can talk about branding do's and don'ts. And until then, I'm Karen Taradis with Social U and I'm here to help. Thanks. Thanks for joining us for the Social University podcast. We hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media at Stay Social U. That's the letter U. And we will talk to you next week. Remember, you've got this.